What's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing how you can fully optimize your PC for the best performance in the new Fortnite season. I'm going to be showing how you can boost your FPS, lower your input lag, and lower your ping, generally the best Fortnite settings, the best FPS boost pack, and also the best game user settings combined with a stretch resolution. So the first thing that you want to do is go in your browser and type in discord.gg slash rip tweaks. After that, your discord is going to open and what you want to do is go into the free tweaks channel and download the free pack v5.1. Click on continue to download, save it somewhere on your desktop, then just right click open with and windows explorer so now just drag this on your desktop then we're just going to be opening this up just double click it right click on this and run as administrator now what i recommend everyone to do is create a store point so what you want to do is type in restore all right so now that we're in this page what you want to do is go over each and one of these tweaks so for example cpu tweaks pick your cpu i'm going to be picking my amd cpu then power tweaks click number three go back click number four gpu tweaks same just pick whatever gpu you have i have nvidia ping tweaks just boost internet i guess then we can go back input tweaks remove input lag i always pick 16 hex you can pick 32 hex if you want to but i i just pick it for most fps optimize keyboard optimize mouse we go back windows tweaks disable animations direct x tweaks windows tweaks etc you get the point right so next what you can do is go back now for the blow tweaks if you don't know how to do them if you don't know what they are please just skip them it's gonna remove a lot of blow from your pc so just skip entirely if you don't want any files to be removed from your pc now we can go back and go to the ram tweaks just generally you should know your ram but if you don't know how much ram you have task manager go to performance find out your ram i have 32 gigs so number four go back drives if you have a ssd or hard drive you can check that again in the task manager as you can see i have a fucking ssd my c drive so basically i'm gonna be picking ssd then we can go back and go into the game section and we're gonna be optimizing fortnite today so just click number one now next what you can do is close everything out and we can go back to the folder to continue doing the tweaks now what you want to do is click windows and r and type in a local app data percent yeah as you can see just copy this go click ok and find fortnite basically fortnite game save saved config windows client and this here is what we're going to be replacing so depending on the stretch resolution that you want you should pick the option if you don't want any stretch resolution you can go for the native resolution just drag and drop this here click replace and you're going to get an optimized game user settings file which basically will boost your fps if you really want some stretch resolution what you can do is go back and pick the one that you want i'm going to pick for example 1720 by 1080 just drag this here click fucking replace and that's about it you have a stretch resolution so now what you can do is just close everything out and just launch fortnite now in the fortnite settings make sure that your rendering mode is on performance mode and on the lower graphical fidelity please make sure to check that now you can set the three resolution to anything that you want i always set it to 85 as it's for me the best balance between the quality and the performance in the game and it really doesn't matter now what you can also do is change your rendering mode to DirectX 11 as it's really similar to performance mode and it also gives you way more options for customization now in the DirectX 11 mode what you want to do is look for a setting called Nvidia reflex low latency make sure to set it to on plus boost to get the lowest input delay and what you also want to do is if you have the option to go and select Nvidia DLSS set it to performance to get the most FPS and that's about it guys if this video helped you out please make sure to leave a like and subscribe just do it.